Despite being down eight players last night, this Orlando Magic team led by Paolo Bancaro defied the odds and exceeded everybody's expectations, getting a 122 to 120 victory over the reigning and defending NBA champions in the Denver Nuggets, which marks a clean sweep on the season as the Magic had already previously beat the Nuggets in Orlando back in November. And Paolo Bancaro marked his first career triple-double last night. And that triple-double is now the 35th recorded triple-double in Orlando Magic history. It's the 35th game of the season on the 35th anniversary of this team. It became full circle for Paolo Bancaro to reach that mark at that moment in time. And it is now officially time to have the conversation that Paolo Bancaro is becoming a superstar right before our very eyes. Now, don't just take my word for it. Paolo Bancaro has been gaining a lot of respect and notoriety from across the league. While the Orlando Magic may not get the respect and not get the national media attention that a Chet Holmgren, like a Victor Wembenyama, and a handful of other young players get, Paolo Bancaro is still flying under the radar and still dominating the game of basketball in his own right. Kenny the Jet Smith already talked about Paolo Bancaro being one of the best players in the Eastern Conference when he was comparing Bancaro and the Orlando Magic to the New York Knicks and Jalen Brunson, who the Magic just beat less than a week ago. And then you refer to Jason Tatum, one of the best players in the game of basketball, saying that Paolo Bancaro is an all-star this year in his tweet. And don't just take my word for it. Listen to this clip from Cole Anthony talking about Paolo Bancaro. Paolo is what you would call a perennial superstar. And I knew that. I think he's just waking everyone else up now. I think that's what it is. And just it's just, it, I'm, I'm in such a dope position to be able to just see him develop and just see him showcase to the world how talented he is and how he can affect the game in so many different ways. And, um, you know, he didn't let us... Uh, throw water in him after the game today because he just got his hair did and so he's like I'm gonna let you we, we was like we're gonna let you rock tonight and while Cole Anthony showed a lot of respect for Paolo Bancaro and rightfully so let's talk about Jalen Suggs who also posted a career high 27 points last night on seven of nine shooting from behind the arc a career high for him as well all while having another defensive player of the year type of performance Jalen Suggs after the game on Paolo Bancaro's 30 point triple double performance said killer he is a killer I tell it to him every game, every day, go to work, do you. The growth he's made year one to year two, he's an all-star. I don't think that there's if, and, or buts about it. And staying on the same course when we talk about post-game quotes, let's talk about Paolo Bancaro and the leadership qualities in which he has possessed, not only throughout this season, but specifically last night after that huge performance. Paolo Bancaro on Jalen Suggs' career high night of 27 points and seven three-pointers made. Bancaro said, I tell him all the time, like, bruh, you Jalen Suggs, don't ever forget that. You're the man. Let that joint fly. He's been working on it all summer relentlessly. He has a great shot. That's the type of leader and that's the type of character you want to see out of a franchise player. And that's not to take anything away from any of the other great young players in the game of basketball, but Ben Carroll has showed those leadership qualities since coming into the league. He has dominated and continuously gotten better since coming into the league and you see the continuous growth in his game. And now talking a little bit about the performances before we get into the Denver performance, despite Orlando going just one of four on their four game Western Conference road trip where they played at Phoenix, at Golden State, at Sacramento, and then they finished it up at Denver with a win. Paolo Bancaro and Franz Wagner proved that they can go head-to-head -head and toe-to-toe -to -toe with anybody in the NBA, and I've already talked about a full video describing why they are one of the best young duos in the game of basketball, and Bancaro has been on a tear through these last five games. P5 in his last five performances, 32 points a game, nine rebounds, 6.6 assists, and 1.2 steals per game. And when you talk about Bancaro, it's not just what he's been doing these last couple of games in this season. He's putting up historical numbers that we've not seen since the likes of a guy like LeBron James. Bancaro, after his huge triple-double performance last night, the only players with a 30-10-10 in three game before turning 22 years of age. Here's the list. LeBron James, Michael Jordan, Magic Johnson, Isaiah Thomas, Steph Curry, Luka Doncic, and now Paolo Bancaro, that is elite company. And to really continue to harp on how impressive of a win that was last night in Denver for Bancaro and this entire Orlando Magic team, the confidence and the resiliency that they showed, 
Here's how impressive it was. They did this without eight players. No Franz Wagner, no Markel Fultz, no Wendell Carter, no Jonathan Isaac, Gary Harris, Joe Ingles, Goga Bataze, and Anthony Black, who only played a handful of minutes before he left the game because he was really sick. And there are truly no words to describe how impressive of a victory that was for Bancaro and this Orlando Magic team. All the odds were stacked up against him and he willed his team to win over the reigning and defending champions who were healthy on the road, ending a four game Western Conference road trip when they were expected to go out there and probably lose by double digits, guaranteed. And he still found a way to win this game. Hit four clutch free throws down the stretch. Jalen Suggs played incredible defense on Jamal Murray and Nikola Jokic in the post. Put on a defensive player of the year type of performance. Jalen Suggs has now hit 13 threes in his last two games, shooting 61% from behind the arc and a career high seven threes versus the Denver Nuggets. The confidence, the maturity, and the belief that this team has, it is shown from the coaching staff to the work that they've put in during the summer and the work that they continuously go and they put in. And Bancaro, just to harp on it yet again, is the clear-cut face of this franchise. He is the closest thing in my eyes to a LeBron James since the likes of LeBron James. And we better not take Paolo Bancaro for granted. It is time to give him his respect, give him his flowers, and to talk about him as one of the young, up-and-coming, perennial superstars in the game of basketball. While the Orlando Magic still have a lot to prove and they have exceeded everybody's expectations this season, I am sure that Ben Carroll and this entire Orlando Magic team wants to continue to go out there and to prove everybody wrong on a night in and night out basis. Bancaro is one of the best young players in the game of basketball, and like I said, I do believe it's time to give him his flowers. Magic fans, NBA fans, please let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments down below about this stretch Bancaro's been playing at lately and him recording his first career triple-double last night in a big-time win over the Denver Nuggets. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please go ahead and drop me a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe bell to stay tuned for more Orlando Magic content that we do here on YouTube. And make sure you guys also go ahead and follow me, Brett James, and Orlando. Orlando Magic HQ on all of our socials. We're both very active and we're on there every single day. The link tree will be in the description down below so that you guys can go ahead and check that out. But Magic fans, NBA fans, thank you guys again for sticking around throughout the whole video. Brett James, aka BJ, I'm out y'all. And like always, let's go Magic.